All right, y'all, it's that time of year. Happy holidays. Let's get into this draw and paint. We're gonna start off with some triangle shapes. That's right, we're making some triangle Christmas trees. Now the bottom part of our tree trunk is gonna be a rectangle shape. And voila, there you have it, easy peasy. And now you're just gonna repeat this shape going different ways. I'm even doing one that's like half off the side. You can do that as well to give it some more creativity and flair. And I'm going to do the same thing on at the top. I'm going to draw a little part of the Christmas tree. At any time that this movie, um, video is going too fast, feel free to slow it down. YouTube has those options in the corner to make it go slower or faster. Okay, so now you're gonna go in with your first base color. I am using a uh, pink because I'm in a pink vibe kind of feel today so I'm using pink but feel free to use whatever you co color you want to use whether it's blue yellow get creative you don't have to stick to traditional holiday colors like make it your own make it special also another way to do this is using watercolor paint in black crayons when you're drawing I'm using right now acrylic paint So just take your time, paint away, or if you're coloring, color away, listen to the tunes. And when you're finished, you can speed up to the next part of the video. Because it's not over yet, y'all. You still got a ways to go. While I'm painting, you can see that I'm doing my best to keep my black lines. Because for this painting, to make it really pop, we want to keep the black lines. So try not to cover them. If you cover them, it's okay. You can always go back and go over your black lines like I'm going to do towards the end. Y'all, I don't know about y'all, but it's something about painting that relaxes me. Or doing art in general just relaxes me. It makes me feel good and it really makes me smile and it gets me really in the festive spirit. So I hope art does the same for you. Just keep painting or coloring or whatever you're doing right now. Just keep going. Also, while you're doing this, go ahead and think about what color you want to make each different tree. Are you going to make them all the same colors? Are you going to do different colors? There's going to be some type of pattern. Because next what you're going to do is you're going to paint inside one solid color for each tree. All right, so for my first tree, I'm going in with a lime green color. And I'm going to paint inside, again, trying to keep my black lines staying visible, meaning where you can see them. But if I don't, it's okay. Because art is not meant to be perfect, it's meant to express. For my next color, I'm going in with this beautiful blue. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty! Alright, for my next color, I'm going to go in with the yellow, make it pop. Now I'm going in with the nice purple. Again, you can slow down or speed up the video. For my purple, I noticed I'm gonna have to go in and add two layers. 
Um, so for this color right now, I'm noticing it's very transparent. So you have some colors when you paint that are really transparent. And so the best option to do is just to add white right away or mix it with a different color. And then also giving it two coats. Acrylic dries very fast if you're using acrylic. So if you notice that some of your paint is still looking super see-through or transparent, once it dries, just go in with a second coat. Like I'm doing right now with the purple. All right, while I wait for my green and my orange to dry for a second coat, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my um, brown for my tree trunks. I'm deciding to keep my tree trunks the original color so it can really pop that it's meant to be a holiday tree. I'm using a smaller brush for this so that I can have more control with staying in the lines. But again, if I don't, it's okay because I can always go back and fix it up. You guys, if you're using acrylic paint, after you do the brown, you really want to dump out your water and get some more water because brown is a powerful color. Hello? Know what I'm saying? And you just need to switch out your water after this. Don't even go through the hassle. That's one thing that I do sometimes. I wait too long to switch out my water. I just don't feel like getting up. And then it's just too much. My colors start mixing. So just go ahead and get you some fresh water after this step. All right, now I'm going back in and I'm adding my second layer to my orange to make it pop. Now I was looking more like I like it. So what I've definitely learned with using acrylic, when you're waiting for one thing to dry, go ahead and do something else in the process if you can. Going back in with my second coat for my green. All right, now you guys, I'm at that process where I'm cleaning up my lines. And I didn't mention this earlier, but I am using a paint marker. And I'll put the brand in the link, but I'm using a paint marker. Um, these are really at a good price. They're almost the same price as a Sharpie, you guys. So instead of using a regular Sharpie, if you plan on painting, go ahead and just buy one of these. And they have a lot of ink in it. So I want to zoom in so you can see me doing it up close. All right, so I'm gonna do this to every tree and then I will move to the next step. Now that my trees are nice and outlined, I'm going down the middle with white using a smaller brush, an even tinier brush, and I'm making a zigzag shape to my tree. Well, zigzag design. So now we're designing our trees. I'm gonna keep the same design on all of my trees, but feel free to do a different design if you're feeling super creative. I'm gonna zoom in more so you can see it up close. Zooming in, there we go. I paint all on my hand, you guys. I am always so messy when I paint, I cannot help it. But I take my time doing one diagonal line one way and then I go back the other way. And as you can see, I'm sharpening my corners. Cause I like nice sharp corners when I can. But there you go, just one stroke at a time. Take your time and create your design using white. It's given the idea that it's a snow design. 
happened to snow and it came down in a zigzag. Mm -hmm. Very abstract, I love it. Just take your time. Again, if you're doing watercolor, then you can do this beforehand. Once you draw your trees out with the black, go ahead and also draw your white lines first because we know that watercolor is crayon resistant so whatever designs you want to do you want to do that first but if you're doing acrylic then you're right on track and if you're with crayon same thing then you're good I added the design to my tree trunk as well so now I'm just about to do the same thing to each tree Okay, once you finish with your zigzag snow designs, now we're gonna do one more thing around our trees. We're gonna give some snow because we said it was snowing and it's falling on the Christmas trees like a zigzag. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our snowflakes just by doing dots all the way around. Dot, dot, dot it up. Have fun with it. All right, once you added your last dot, you are done. I hope you enjoyed doing this holiday art with me i'm going to try to post more throughout december more holiday art that you can do with your friends and family and on your own super easy fun cool holiday paint and fun tutorials but remember if you don't have paint that's okay because you can still just draw it and use crayons and have a great time 
like we always do on Art Online with Miss Hand. 